32 wins. That's one hell of a record right there, man. I really don't think about the record. You know, um, I just think of my credentials. You right. know, at this point, you know, four-time world champion, four different weight classes at the age of 26. Um, the youngest to ever do it. Um, you know, um, it speaks for itself. Yeah. So, okay, so for us, because we're used to, you know, artists, rappers, singers, and whatever in here, how do you get ready for a fight? I, obviously, we know you dance and get ready and you turn up, but, like, what else do you do? I do the same thing. Yeah? You know, I dance and I just be myself. You know, it's... It's just you know I'm God gifted. You know if you if you come to the back back room of my fight and I'm getting ready for my fight, you'll think you're at an after party already. Yeah. <laughs> you know and, and you know I just like to have fun and you know I like to be comfortable. But once I hit the ring and once I hit the atmosphere, like when I go out and I see everybody in the stands, you know um it just click on. How's the relationship with Floyd Mayweather? If there is one, are you guys friends? Not friends? What's the situation like? Uh, he's definitely, um, he's more than a friend to me. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of things that he don't agree with me doing, but you know, um, he, he we, we got a great understanding. And um, he's gonna tell me when I'm wrong, when I'm right. And uh, you know, me and his relationship is like no other man. You know, uh, he, I really look up to him yeah. you know, in certain, certain, certain things. Yeah, but you're your own person. and But there's a respect there. So growing up, who did you look up to when it came to boxers? To be honest, you know, um, I look, the first person I looked up to uh, was Rashi Warren, mm -hmm. you know, three-time Olympian. You know, um, he's a professional boxer now. He's undefeated and um, he's under my banner now um, about Billions Promotions. Um, the second person uh, was uh, Ricardo Williams. He's a silver medalist yeah. from Cincinnati. Um, and then once I seen Floyd Mayweather, it just took over after that. Took just done. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not like crazy about boxing. Like I'm not like this guru, right? So I'm like watching it as a regular consumer who like, oh, when we hear big fights are gonna happen, that's the only time I tune in. That's me being honest. So now when we talk about greats, like other boxers and different titles, like, you know, what do you ever look back at like Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, and you, you know, and, and do you look at them do you relate to them? Do you relate to any of the, I guess, what we would know as the mainstream boxers? Um, to be honest, you know, I do. You know, if sometimes I'll look at a Sugar Ray Leonard fight or um, I, I, I really don't go back that far. Got it. You know, because now nowadays you know boxing have i feel like boxing have elevated you know mm -hmm. and you know um there's only one boxer that i watch honestly who floyd Mayweather. that's it yeah yes okay so now explain to me what happened on the show love and hip-hop atlanta see now we get into yeah, it now what's, what's, what's what good? happened you walked off the set like i'm confused i'm hearing conflicting stories what hold occurred? on tell me what you heard i heard that you walked off the set because you got upset I did get upset because, okay. Now, is this real? Or was it people like, oh, it's fake. He didn't really get upset. He just did it for the TV show. But, like. I didn't even get on the TV show. Fuck the TV. What, yeah. what, what, what can the TV show do for me? Look at me. What are they going to give me? <laughs> Love and hip hop. What are they going to give me? What yeah. check is they going to give me that I ain't already got? Shit, yeah. I got. I probably got a. His I chain got, is real, guys. I if probably get this. Is, yeah. I got this two seasons right here. Yeah. A love and hip hop. This two seasons. Right. This probably two seasons right here of love and hip hop. What the hell are they gonna do for me? I ain't worried about no damn love and hip hop. But look. What happened? Just so that we understand from Let me tell y'all what yeah. happened. Look. So we go to the building or whatever. Carly, you know, she's yeah. a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. You know. Um I got respect for it, everything, you know. And um she said that Playboy gave her a a TV show mm -hmm. or whatever. And I'm like, she called me up and I'm like, uh, she wanted me to do an interview. Okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. So I'm, so I talked to my manager 40 and, um, he was like, yeah, let's do it. Because after the fight, we need, we need a, a lot of publicity. We gonna, we gonna do every interview we could. Right. So we get there and, uh, we go in, it's nice, Playboy, and 
all that, you know, I'm taking pictures and stuff. I'm like, man, I'm about to see some bad bitches. Yeah. <laughs> That's, you know what I'm saying? So we get up there and we go in there and they like, okay, y'all gonna come in this room first and they gonna be filming y'all in the VH1. And once I heard VH1, I said, oh, you know, what's that about? You know, so they, so they kind of brushed it off. Then they took us to the green room, right? Mm -hmm. By then they had mic'd me up, and um, the uh, the Playboy bunnies is coming in there. They they changing, they getting naked, and you know I'm loving this view. Yeah, this you know is this is the good part of it, right? You know I'm I'm, I'm loving this. Thumbs view. Thumbs up, let's go, right? A lady come in there and she's like, okay, now now it's time to get serious. Um, while you're filming, we want this. We first of all, I didn't know that Carly was doing a damn interview. Okay, got it. So they like, yeah, Carly gonna be asking you the questions. I'm like, okay, I'm here. I'm gonna do it anyway. Right, you might as well, right? And then uh, they come back and they like, yeah, we want to see the the chemistry. What chemistry? The eye contact. The oh. uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is y'all talking about? I got a wife at home, kids. I ain't hey. Yeah. Y'all tripping. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all need to go fix that. And then they uh they came back and then uh they was like, yeah, VH1 is filming it. And um you're gonna be on you're gonna be on Love and Hip Hop and it's gonna I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, I had my little brother with me. And I had 40 with me, you know, and I was like, uh So I let the lady walk out. It just went sitting right, and I'm like, nah, they trying to get a show off me, an episode. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go out here and wrap this up. Get my bags. I was on my um, I was on my Hoover board, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I just rolled out. <laughs> Yo, that's so great. I went, I went to the elevator, man, and uh, I, hit, I hit, the, hit the level button. They was like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to meet 40. He downstairs. He got my other phone. So, uh. So so the guy like you want me to come with you to make sure you get back up and like ah nah I found my oh, way back yeah. up I'll be back trust me we had our bags and everything I had a full wardrobe ready to change clothes and everything wow you know got it out of there they called me for about four hours now what's the relation is there still a friendship with Carly did she know about this did you ask her yo why didn't you tell me any of the details or was she not informed like. How did this all end up playing out? Um, she probably upset. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I got, I got, I got long messages of how I made her look bad or whatever. But she, you was gonna try to make me look bad yeah. on, on television. I would never play my wife, right? You know, for 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 a spot on TV. I'm on TV all the time. Shit. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. for you. Yeah. Dubbed. <laughs> All right, so Adrian, speaking of your wife, yeah. you're married. How many kids you guys got? Like, there's like a gang of them, right? We're on baby number six right now? Nah, CC. For one, for one, I'm going to clear it up. I respect, I respect my woman so much that I, that I, that I just say that we're married. We're not really married. Officially yet. married. Yes. But okay. But are you but, going to marry her? Um I'm a girl. I have to ask this. I gotta have her back right now. To be honest, I think that's the one I'll spend the rest of my life with. Adrian, you need to marry her. I'm I'm saying that I have to have her back. As a woman, I gotta give it I gotta be like, yo, um, marry her. Yeah, How many kids do you guys have together? Um, we're we got one, little Adrian, and then um we got one on the way. Okay. Yeah. Do the right thing, man, and marry her. Uh, but your boys are laughing because they know what I'm saying is true. I'm, I definitely want to. This is the this is the lady I want to marry. Of course, I Miss Louis Bex, Yes. Okay, so now, how many kids do you have all together? Um, six, on going on seven. You know? Six going on seven. She now. actually found out what she's having today. What? I think I hope it's a girl. One more. Do girl. you really? You're the first guy who has ever said that you want a girl. Shit, I did the uh, ace hood. It, it's all good. So you're the first guy that's ever wanted a girl. 
No, I, I just need one more girl because I got uh, five boys and one girl. Yeah. And I think my daughter wanted another sister, little yeah. sister. Yeah, because it's just too many guys running around. So now what about these rumors about you supposedly cheating on your fiance wife in Vegas? What is it, 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 did it occur? Did you get checked? Was there maybe something about to happen and it got ended before it did? What was the situation for it to have been on the blogs or whatever? I don't know how that got on the blog, but yeah. um, I'm not saying I'm an angel now. I'm not saying I'm an angel, you know, um, young, fly, fresh, flashy, you know, it's going to be women throwing herself at me, right. but you know, and, um. I'm always trying to do the right thing. Yeah. So in June, that's the last time you're in Vegas. So they're saying that something apparently occurred during that time with someone else other than your lady. You really can't count June because I was out there for a fight. So. And you're not focused on that during a fight. No. Like what? What? What needs to happen for you to just say, "Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get married. I'm gonna have like you know maybe you know just retire and be done with everything." I don't. I don't think it's time for me to get married right now. Got it. You know, and um, because you know, I just really don't think it's time for me. You know, I'm I'm only 26. Yeah. You know. You know, if I was gonna throw myself in jail, I'll just shoot somebody on TV. Mm -hmm. That's how you look at marriage. I'm yeah. Every time I see a, a a married couple, they be like, "Yeah, we've been together for like 18 years, 20 years," and then when they walk away, like, "Fuck you, bitch! I hate you!" And they be like, "I hate oh you." Oh my and gosh. They, Everybody hates each other after, like, they, I hear, like, honestly, I hear, like, the first four months is good, and then after that, you know, it's just bad. Oh, that's just not uplifting. You know how y'all do? Y'all, y'all, y'all. No, I don't. I, listen, I'm telling you, but that's what I'm saying. You could break that cycle. We got to break that cycle. Like, I'm in, a, I'm in a great relationship. It's healthy. I look at it as, you know, I believe in his space. Is it new? Semi-new. Exactly. But still, but let me six months from here, you can be like, "Fuck that nigga, he ain't shit." <laughs> That's not even. No, he ain't listen, shit. The six month mark is like almost there, and it's nowhere near that. You know what it is? Let me tell he you. He ain't shit. <laughs> Coming quick anyway. No, he's. Let me tell you why. Because we have our own careers, we're very focused, okay. and we respect each other's space. Like, but are you gonna marry him? I a hundred percent. I feel hmm. that. So you ain't living with him, right? Right. So yes. you got a lot of time in your hands where he ain't there, right? Yeah, if I'm not on the phone, with and we're and, and, and we're when a live young nigga like me can can crawl up crawl up under you and, and take that shit right away. It can't. It would. It can't happen. Huh? It can't happen. I'm just telling you the truth. But it can't because I'm solid. He's solid. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, listen, yeah, so, so, I, solid. I listen. If listen, if water hit the ground long enough, it to put a dent in it. Well, but there's no water though. <laughs> 